Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'm going to cover is how to write PHP comments and PHP comments are very similar to HTML comments as they start with a special character sequence and all the text within that block is ignored. So with PHP comments, the only way that you can see those comments is if you have access to that source file. So PHP comments are only really useful to PHP programmers. So as you can see here in my source file, I have a HTML comment example. And if you remember from my last tutorial, I only used HTML comments because I hadn't at that time exposed you to PHP comments. So with HTML, we only have one way of writing a single line comment. But with PHP, we have two ways. One of those ways is with two slashes or two four slashes or two solidus, depending on whichever one you prefer. And to the right of that, we can write our comment. So I'm just going to say PHP comment example. And as you can see here, it's highlighted green. So it's really great. You can really scope through this file and find your comments. So the other example is with the pound sign. And again, to the right of that, we can write our comment. So another useful tool or tip that you can use comments for is for debugging code or if you want to temporarily disable an instruction or a function. So let's say I have here echo hello world. And I'm just going to go ahead and save the file. And we're going to name this comments.php because it includes PHP code, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and load this up in my browser. So localhost slash the PHP basics slash comments dot PHP. Okay, so nothing new here. We know it should display hello world. But let's say I want to disable that just for a second. I don't want to delete it. I just want to temporarily disable it to see what happens. So what most do, what most people would do is just put a single line comment there, save the file, and then refresh the browser, and now it's gone. So if I want to simply bring that back. I just have to delete that comment instead of having to type this whole instruction over again. So what if we had, I'm just going to duplicate this here and add maybe, let's add maybe four more of these. All right. So let's say we wanted to disable these four instructions. Well, we could use the single line method, but you don't want to do this for each line. Right. So there is another commenting style, which is for multiple lines or a comment block. So the way we implement that is with a slash for slash, or then a star or the asterisk. And then we end it with a star and then another forward slash. So anything inside this block is ignored. So if we wanted to ignore these four instructions, we could just simply make a comment block here. And as you can see now, these four instructions are ignored. So if I save that, refresh my browser, nothing is displayed here. So as you can see now, we have three different types of commenting styles that we can use. One for multiple lines, or we have the single line method. And something else that I would recommend is for your PHP files, it would be nice or it would be helpful for you to actually describe what that file does. So for this example, and I could just use a single line comment for this, I could just say this file is for PHP commenting uh, tutorial or something similar to that. So I know exactly what this file is for as soon as I open it. I don't have to look at the code or guess by the file name what this file includes. So it really is a good commenting practice to always comment your code because think about it from a year or a couple of years from now, you're not going to remember exactly what you were thinking when you were trying to program or when you were trying to write this PHP code. So it's really helpful for you it's, and it's also helpful for other programmers who may look at your code later on. So all I can say is definitely use comments. Don't be lazy. And I hope you don't think that they're not useful because they really are. So that concludes this tutorial. 
Be sure to take the online quiz at thephpbasics.com to make sure you understand comments. This is a fairly simple tutorial. So I will see you in the next video.